The popular Obwetemi market in Ugu has been in Bedlam since the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, started their regulatory enforcement to ensure availability of quality and safe food, drugs and other regulated products. The agency has shut down about 100 shops in the market for alleged dealing in suspected fake alcoholic beverages. The market businessmen and women whose shops were locked down refused to speak to the press on the ongoing reading. They maintain that they will only speak as a body after NAVDAC has concluded their investigation and tendered their final reports. A trader who spoke off camera disclosed that the regulatory process has put all wine and bravery sellers on their toes. She suggested that the agency should also visit the places these fake drinks have been produced in the main market. She insisted that these fake wine producers are the major culprits. Speaking with Martins Iluyomande, the director of Now Dark South East Zone, he attributed the selling of these shops to their agency's mandate towards regulating and controlling food, drugs, cosmetics, medical devices, chemicals, detergents, and packaged water. Now that doesn't give. We don't treat people. We just give blanket judgment. If we go to your shop. And there is no one single either unregistered, falsified, adulterated drink there. We have no reason to lock. So all the people who are saying, all the shops we lock, yes, the first what we did, everyone that is identified selling there. We have done some of our underground work before we enter that place. Um, the ones we have been able to screen. All we did, locking them is for us to be able to screen. We started the work peacefully when we started, but they resisted and sent regulatory officers away. Which was why we had to move in with the enforcement. All the shops so far that we have sealed, that we have sealed and that we have screened had adopted the product. He also emphasized on why NAVDAC is skeptical about the regulations across the nation, insisting that such outbreaks like cholera is as a result of some unhealthy intakes and lifestyle of citizens owing to the poor economic hardship in the country. There are a lot of things that led to the outbreak of cholera that have gotten us to where we are. Some of this has to do with um, the Millennium, Millennium Development Goals that United Nations is working on, that's to hand open defecation. Cleanliness is one of the major things. The regulatory process continues as more illicit activities by some shop owners and producers are being discovered. Chinemere Mikiuna, Signature TV.